Amanda, to many, this is a benchmark of CrossFit. To some, it's a cornerstone of proving their own fitness, combining the 10 components of fitness together to create what's truly challenging and a deceiving workout. Amanda provides the CrossFit community with much to think about, much to fall back on, much to look upon our history, all the way back in 2010, when this workout was first introduced at the CrossFit Games, we saw iconic moments such as Jason Kalipa's snatch fail. Where he pretty much took out the cameraman. Amanda has been in the community for years, and it was demonstrated that most top CrossFit Games athletes could complete the workout unbroken pretty effortlessly too, if I would ask. As the fitness levels of both CrossFit Games athletes and regular athletes improved, so did the difficulty of Amanda. In the 2016 CrossFit.com documentary, we got to witness what heavy Amanda would look like. From some of the top athletes such as Camille and Ben Smith performing snatched weights increased, looking at 185 and 135 pounds. 2017 CrossFit Games saw Amanda leveled up with Amanda.45. An increase in both repetitions and difficulty, we saw the best of the best in the sport of CrossFit struggle on a workout that's considered easy and unbroken for most of these athletes. Amanda.45 was 13, 11, 9, 7, 5 muscle ups and squat snatches. We look ahead to the Rogue Invitational 2019 this brought us a lower rep range, but much higher intensity version of Amanda. Amanda.25, 975, 31, muscle ups and squat snatches. Giving us both the same intensity as what Amanda, however, allowing the added reps and transitions to throw off top athletes, this made it a spectacle and classic benchmark workout. Amanda is undoubtedly one of the greatest program workouts covering a wide range of fitness components such as strength, speed, flexibility, balance, accuracy, power, coordination, conditioning. This is also a great marker for aspiring CrossFit athletes as it includes difficult movements such as the ring muscle up and the squat snatch. And these two movements can stop most avid CrossFitters in their tracks when it comes to the CrossFit Open. And what the most impressive thing about this workout is, that it's only 42 repetitions. On paper, it almost looks pathetic. But in person, this is a workout that needs to be respected.